time of year here in England that I dread normally because autumn to winter transition, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me. But this year, 2020, we have Lockdown 2.0 and November. So today I'm gonna to share with you five books that I read for just 10 minutes in the morning to help you wake up right. Come with me, let's take a seat. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vivian. I'm a Nigerian born London based YouTuber and on this channel I do travel, fashion and lifestyle video and I post every Sunday. How are you doing today? If this is your first time, welcome. How did you find me and this is not your first time? You are the real MVP, yay! In today's video, I'm going to share with you five of these books that I read every morning within 10 minutes to help you start your day right. Honestly, I want to know which of these books would resonate with you or whether you're going to start reading some of them. I love it when you guys take actions when I share with you. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing that I do every morning when I wake up is pray to God. I could be lying down. I could be kneeling down. It depends on how I wake up in the morning. So I spend a couple of minutes, sometimes seconds, just being grateful and just praying and then i dive into my five books in no particular order but today i'm going to tell you from one to the other and what all of these mean and do for me the first book i'm going to talk about here is my daily devotional by joyce meyer if you want to study your bible and you're struggling this is a good way it's an easy read it's 365 days in a year so you can almost read it over and over again i really love this david daily devotional by joyce meyer because i'm a joyce meyer fan and not just that it's very practical and easy read and sometimes when i read it i feel like joyce is talking to me in my head so this book is one of my favorite devotional that I read every morning. And it was actually a gift from my friend. Oh my God. My friend and a coaching client. I know I'm a coach and I coach my friends as well. Mm, how do I even do that? Shout out to you, girl. You know yourself and when you watch this video. I just want to say thank you because I am rocking and enjoying this daily devotional. And I must say something. I don't necessarily read my daily devotional every day. Some days I miss it, but it's okay. It's something that's important to me, so I put the effort into making it a habit. But yes, this is my Joyce Meyer daily devotional that I read, one of the books that I read in the morning, and it just gives me perspective. In fact, I open now to the 21st of July, and it says, stop pretending. Now. That's what I get up to. And don't worry, any book that I mention, I will leave the details in the description bar below. Some of it I've actually put in my Amazon storefront so you can purchase for yourself if you're interested. Let's dive into the second book, shall we? The second book that I read in the morning is my Message Translation Bible. Oh my God. This Eugene Peterson Bible is on my Amazon storefront because I bought it for myself as a birthday present two years ago. Like it reads in today's language. The reason why I love this Bible is I grew up reading the King James Bible. Yes, and it's so instructional. I don't feel like God is talking to me. So this message translation Bible, <laughs> it just makes me feel like God is talking to me in today's language. So I feel like I understand what is being said. And sometimes I can read it as a novel, but obviously there's a spirit behind it. For my Bible, I could read a chapter a day or half a chapter because sometimes they are broken into topics. I just open now. This is literally how I crack up studying my Bible some morning. I think this is Matthew chapter 20 in the message translation. Talking about entering the kingdom of God, the man asked, what in particular, how do I enter the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, don't mother, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't lie, honor your father and mother, love your neighbor as you do love yourself. The young man said, I've done all of that, what's left? <laughs> and Jesus said, go sell all your possessions give everything to the poor all your wealth will be in heaven then come and follow me <laughs> that's a bit hard yeah these are the kind of mornings that i have and this is how i start my day just being in the right frame of mind you get the drift right now before i talk about the third book that i have here waiting for me to share with you guys i want to do a shout out to everyone that watched last week's video on five ways to stay positive during lockdown 2.0 that video has been my best performing and inspiring video till date you guys loved it you guys shared it and i just have a few names that i want to shout out here all of you that shared my video and all of you that watched the video to the end 
Ah, you know you are the real MVP. I've got a few names that I really have to shout out here. Queen Mary All Worldwide, Judith Liverpool, you shared, you watched to the end. Casey Adana, shout out again to you darling. You shared and you watched to the end. Akoradi Ajibade said this video, I was just drawn into it and you watched to the end. And I've just seen a comment here that honestly is my most inspiring comment of the week. But I'm gonna hold on, jump into the next book and I'll share a little bit more about this inspiring comment and why it inspired me. So the third book that I read in the morning, all within 10 minutes, is another gift from a dear friend. This was bought for me in the summer of this year. It's A Woman and a Half by Eden Omuka. <laughs> Honestly, it's an affirmation book. 100 affirmations for the woman who wants to be more and won't settle for less. That is me. I don't settle for less in life because I believe in Jesus and I know that all things are possible. And whilst I'm talking, I just realized that I'm making an assumption that everybody watching me is a Christian. Are you a Christian? Do you have a religion? Do you have a faith that you believe in? Or do you not believe in something? Or do you believe in the earth, the universe? Let me know in the comment section. I'd like to get to know you more. So tell me just so that I'm not making the assumption that everybody I'm talking to is a Christian because the first three books that I've just shared with you are all Christian books, but that's because I'm a Christian. But tell me what faith and what do you believe in? So this Eden's book is beyond amazing. Honestly, honestly, yeah. I take a stand for my beliefs. I am brave enough to believe in the authenticity of my truth. I take a stand for my belief. I am brave enough to live in the authenticity of my truth. I take a stand for my belief. I take a stand for my beliefs. I am brave enough to live in the authenticity of my truth. See now, this guys is how I start my morning right. I take a stand for my beliefs. I am brave enough to live in the authenticity of my truth. I read this in the morning and sometimes I have wake up calls, some days more than others, but this 100 affirmation book definitely helps me start my day right. I recommend it and it will be in my Amazon storefront as well. Before I tell you about my most inspiring comments from last week's video, shout out to you girl. Let me talk to you about my fourth book. So my fourth book is my coaching cards that was given to me by Barefoot Coaching. You know your girl is a life coach. Yes, I'm a life coach in case you don't know. I'm trained, I'm certified and I do this even in my day job and outside of work as well. So when I went for the taster session back in 2019, we were given this pack of coaching cards for every day. They're called the Kim Morgan coaching cards for every day. I had them in my wardrobe for such a long time, but I never really used them. So one day I was thinking, I was like, I'm a coach. It would be a good idea to have reflection every day. And I just whipped out my cards. So every morning I pick a random card from my pack of cards. And when I finish reading it, I put it at the back of the card. So this morning, the card that I picked up, oh my God. It says, what five things are you most proud of? I have so many things that I'm proud of, but I would list the five things that I'm proud of now. What five things are you most proud of? My health. My faith in Christ. Because I guess I'm proud of things that I put an effort in, right? My relationships. Ooh, yes. I have put efforts in my relationships. And boy, they're serving me and I'm serving them. And everybody's happy. I want to also say my coaching business and my YouTube channel. I'm very proud because the last video from last week about five positive ways to stay positive during lockdown is my best performing video in the last three to four months and i deliberately did certain things and made it engaging and you guys noticed it and the video is still trending so if you haven't checked it out go back i'll put the link here or i'll put the channel what it looks like here so 
between here and here you're gonna find it and it'll be in the description box so go and check it so my youtube channel and my coaching business because those are the two things that i started in the last two and a half years what is the fifth thing that i'm proud of my siblings i am so proud of how far each and every one of us have come in terms of our growth in terms of our stepping into new ground in terms of our decision in terms of our maturity in terms of our respect for each other in terms of how we how much we love our mom and look after her and in terms of how we come together as a family those are the five things that i am most proud of so you can see there's no chance that you would read a card like this in the morning and not smile yeah I've just told you my five things. So tell me what are the five things you are most proud of in the comment section. And now we're going to slot this coaching card at the back. Now, before the final book that helps me start my day right, I've got an idea that I want to share with you guys that I think we can do together. But let's do a shout out to the most inspiring comment from last week's video. It's got to be this comment from Joy. Joy said, I need to start watching Calm video every morning because lately I've been so overwhelmed. Girl, I'm with you. I'm hugging you. I am grateful that you are taking action from watching my video. The joy of me as a content creator is that somebody's life is better because I shared. So when I read Joyce's comments and she says, you've just given me something that I need and I'm going to take action, I'm just like, boom, I am leaving for purpose. So that is my most inspiring comments. There were 70 something old comments and I totally love all of them. I responded to all of you, but Joy Arrow, shout out to you. She's also a YouTuber, so check out her channel. Shout out to you, girl, because you made my week. Thank you. Now let's go to the fifth book. The fifth and final book that I read or have to help me start my day is this journal. Again, this journal is from a friend. It's a Sarah Miller London journal. This came in the same package as this Joyce Meyer book. So these two were gifts from my friend. Shout out to you, girl. Like you have no idea how this book has changed my life because I have a tiny book here with a cute pen that I can just journal it. So I wake up in the morning, I take my dreams seriously most times and when I have a dream, I want to reflect on it. And it's so beautiful that I just have a small notepad that I just start to write my thoughts or whatever I'm feeling in my heart and it just helps me go from my brain through my hand to a notepad and it gives me perspective. Guys, I'm sure you can tell from my facial reaction there that journaling has just done something. So it's sort of got me into a whole reflective mode. Um, I was talking about the dream and that's what I was writing. And as I was writing it down, I started to see different perspectives. So that's what journaling does to me every morning. And I'm just grateful that I got this journal as a gift. Do you journal? Do you write your thoughts down? And what does it do to you? I'd like to know in the comment section. So now that you know the five things that I do every morning to wake up right, which of them resonates with you? Now, this is in continuation with staying positive during lockdown. I really want to know which of them resonates with you. Which of them is new to you and which of them are you going to try? Because waking up right for November 2020 is my goal and I hope that I've been able to give you a goal to help you get through this lockdown 2.0 because like I said in my last video, we're going to be here. Lockdown is not going to be forever. Miss Rona is going to be a thing of the past but we have to get the best of this month just so that when we get on the other side we'll be glad still on the topic of getting through november 2020 lockdown together i have an idea that i think that we can do together i started following this guy the body coach joe wicks here on youtube and he does 15 minutes exercise in the morning that are not one of those bodybuilder exercises but it gets your brain working so i'm thinking that we could do a youtube live where 
I can be doing the exercise in my house, you can be doing the exercise in your house, but we're all on YouTube live together. We do the 15 minutes exercise, we chat a little bit and everybody goes and starts their day. How does that sound? I feel like we could do a wake up with Viv. Yes, wake up with Viv. We're gonna be inspired by Joe Wicks, wake up with Joe, but we could do a wake up with Viv. I wanna know what you guys think about this because either the coming Thursday or Friday morning, between 6.30 and 7.30, just for 15 minutes, I was thinking about it when I was planning this video and I was like, oh my God, I could actually wake up with my Instagram and YouTube fam. That would be so epic, but I can't do it unless you guys want it. So leave me a comment. Tell me in the comment section whether you'll be interested in Wake Up With Viv. It'll be a YouTube live for 15, 20 minutes and we can all start our day. Now we're about to wrap up this video. I want to shout out to you who've been responding in my community tab. When I tell you guys I'm shooting a video, I'll tell you when I get what I get up to in my community tab here. You guys are always responding. Shout out to you who watched the video till the end. Yes. I want to see the comments again. I love it when you guys tell me you watched it to the end and why. So if you watch this video till now, let me know in the comment section. Just don't just watch and go away. Tell me that you watched it to the end and tell me what you like most about this video. And future videos, assuming we do the wake up with Viv, we have a fashion haul coming up. We have a haul video in the works. I'm also thinking about a skincare routine. You guys have been telling me on Instagram and here on YouTube that my skin is glowing. What am I doing? And maybe I can share some of the things that I'm doing because they are inexpensive. If you'd like to see a skincare routine video, leave a comment and let me know. If you would like to do the wake up with Viv, leave a comment and let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Honestly, I've enjoyed shooting this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.